it's time to give the HPI Nitro Savage a Doug score. Geronimo! Before I give the Savage a Doug score, I want to tell something real quick. I actually did a Doug score for the HPI Nitro Savage back in summer of 2017, but um, after watching it, I wasn't really uh, satisfied with it. I didn't really like it, and um, the score I gave it to it was pretty low, so yeah. Because ever since I made the video on on my uncle's HPI Nitro Savage, I posted the video on Facebook and shared it onto the RC group on Facebook. They told me that my score was unreasonable. So today, I'll give my uncle's HPI Nitro Savage a redemption score. The HPI Nitro Savage is an all-wheel drive, 8-scale, nitromethane gas-powered radio controlled truck. It is one of the largest RCs in the market. Nothing more to say here, so... Let's give it a rating. Yeah! We'll begin with the Celestial chart with styling. The Nitro Savage is one big monster. It's roughly equivalent to the Traxxas T and E Max, but not as big as the Traxxas X Max, but it's good enough to earn a good 22 points. Top speed isn't impressive by modern RC standards, but for a Nitro vehicle, it's pretty good. The car can hit about 32 miles an hour and it earns an OK score of 10 points. Handling isn't really good, but it isn't terrible at all. The steering server install on the car is a little laggy and sometimes, and it takes about a split second for it to turn. This is mostly due to the thickness of the wheels and tires and also the high center of gravity chassis. However, once it does make a turn, it really goes where I tell it to go, so it earns an average score of 13 points. Acceleration is okay. Since the car is powered by an engine, it usually takes time for fuel to enter into the engine and allow combustion to occur. This leads to lazy acceleration, but still gets up to speed just fine, so it earns 15 points. Add it all up, and a total Celestial score is 60 out of 100, which is average, but I know this truck has its potential. Now we're moving on to the lunar chart. Starting off with durability, the Nitro Savage is hard as a boulder. After bashing it through a field, nothing broken actually surfaced whatsoever. Heck, I even drove it through a curb of a sidewalk with no problem. However, sometimes a loose gear mesh will occur on this car, but overall, it stood up to my durability test, so it earns 23 points. Features are very little on the car, except for the cool engine, so it earns 11 points. Now, the quality on this car is very strong. Continuing with durability, I remember my uncle driving the Savage at a skate park when he got it new back in 2008. That car can jump like a champ, and with a strong durability and strong material used in the parts, gives it a good 25 points. For value, $500 is kind of on the high side, but I understand why. It's powered by an engine instead of an electric motor, and it's an 8 scale. That size is bigger than my Traxxas slash 10 scale by comparison. The reason why I think that $500 isn't good, or at least for me, in my opinion, is because the Nitro engine is slowly dying in the RC world, whereas brushless electric RCs aren't. This gives the Savage an 18 out of 25. The total lunar score is 77 out of 100, which is impressive for a Nitro car, I must say. And finally, the total Doug score for the HPI Nitro Savage is 137 out of 200, which makes it the third best RC I ever reviewed as of the time I'm making this video. I never thought a Nitro RC would actually score this high. You've done a really good job here, HPI.